Your constitutional freedoms under assault every day of the week. Your freedoms being taken away rapidly. I'm Artifacts Mars and this is Tyranny Watch News. Together we will explore the issues and the assaults on your freedoms, our failing schools, the incoming hordes of illegal aliens, and we'll find ways that we can stop this and return America to its greatness. I'm Artifacts of Mars. This is Artifacts Mars, and this is Tyranny Watch News for the 20th of July, 2014. And we're going to lead off with the Malaysian Airlines uh, story, because this is a very serious situation, and it's going to have major international repercussions for years to come. Senator Feinstein from California is saying that because of this and because of Ukraine, our relations with the Russians are at the lowest level since Cold War. So, essentially they're saying that, she's saying that we're at Cold War levels uh, with the Russians. And if you remember the Cold War years, they weren't fun. You're constantly worried about uh, nukes flying and going to war with Russia, which didn't happen, of course, but that is not a good sign whatsoever. And in the actual debris field, while we're trying to uh, get an investigation going, the rebels have been actively hindering this. During the New York Times, they seized control of the uh, bodies and they're, they basically are in control of the whole area. Ukrainian emergency responders working under the watchful eyes of armed rebels have recovered 196 bodies from the area where Flight 17 and Boeing 777 carrying 298 passengers and crew from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur crashed and burned Thursday. But the responders returned, forced to turn the bodies over to the separatists. Andriy Lysenko, spokesman for the Ukrainian National Security and Defense Council, so a briefing Kiev, in Kiev on Sunday, Mr. Lysenko said officials believe that 38 bodies were taken in Morgan Donetsk, the regional capital is controlled by suffragists. So, in other words, we have a big, fat cover-up that's being caused by suffragists, and this is in a foreign land. It's a real nightmare. We don't really have the right to go in there and gun, guns blazing and try to secure the place because it's not our area. This is unbe an unbelievable crime and it has to be punished, but who's going to punish it? The Russians? I seriously doubt it. Emergency workers are trying to sift through the uh, debris field, but it's not going well whatsoever. The body's been sitting out there rotting. One of the things they said, I forget who it was said, it was one of the Ukrainian responders, I think, said that the bodies appeared to have been drained of blood, many of them and appeared to have been dead for several days, which kind of deepens mystery. So, there we have 
very bad, we have a very bad thing going on here. Let's put it that way. And again, this is from Yahoo News. Actually from Reuters. Ukraine and rebels argue over Iraq. Europeans give Putin a last chance. He has one last chance to show that he means to help, Dutch Prime Minister Mark Ruddy said after a telephone call to Putin. Britain, which lost 10 citizens, says further sanctions were available for use against Russia. If Russia's principal culprit, we can take further action against them and make it clear that this kind of sponsored war is completely unacceptable. Defense Minister Michael Fallon said, told the mail on Sunday. Prime Minister David Cameron writing in Sun Sunday Times said European countries should make their power count in dealing with the Ukraine crisis, yet we sometimes behave as if we need Russia more than Russia needs us. German Chancellor Angela Merkel, most powerful figure in the EU, spoke to Putin on Saturday urging his cooperation. Merkel's Foreign Minister Frank Walter Steinmeier told Bill M. Sontag newspaper Moscow may have one last chance so it was seriously interested in a solution. Now this is a moment for everyone's stop and think to themselves what might happen if we don't stop the escalation. That doesn't sound good. Russia said on Saturday it was retaliating against sanctions imposed by the United States last week for the shoot down by barring entry to arms Americans warning of a boomerang effect on foreign businesses. But Business Minister Sergei Lamrov and U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry did agree in a phone call to get both sides in Ukraine to reach consensus on peace, Russian Foreign Ministry said. We're in trouble, people. Uh, this is going to... This has severe implications. This is no small story. Couple more uh, stories. This one is from Wall Street Journal Online. Ukraine intelligence officials said they knew three days before downing of the plane that Rebels in the country had sophisticated air defense systems capable of taking down a jetliner in excess of where the even higher than where the Boeing 777 was flying. So they knew that this could have happened, but they didn't steer these planes around this area. Ukraine imposed partial flight ban on, in the region on flights below 26,000 feet on July 1st and raised the ceiling with an exclusion area of 32,000 feet on July 14th. A Malaysian plane was flying at 33,000 feet. The altitude restrictions on commercial flights were raised after rebel separatists backed by Moscow on July 14th, shot down the Ukrainian military Antonov An-26 transport plane with eight people on board on the skies of the Luhansk region. The aircraft was flying at 21,000 feet. So 
So we have a very dangerous situation. They knew this could have happened, but it wasn't prevented by uh, stopping air traffic to the area. I hope we've learned. I hope we're avoiding air traffic to the area, but it's hard to say. There doesn't seem to be any real rules other than what Ukraine's put into uh, place. The whole area is being robbed by uh, grave robbers. And it's just a totally ghoulish area. It's uh, Daily Mail in the UK online. Tourists are taking pictures on their mobile phones. Corpses are left to rot. The shocking dispatch from crash site by Ian Beryl. This is horrible. People are treating it like a tourist attraction and the whole area should be secured and treated like a major crime scene. A major crime zone. Now it's disappointing that people are acting like this. I can understand they're documenting it, try to get as much information as possible to people. That's not what they're doing, they're taking tourist photos like this was some kind of a game. I'm very seriously disappointed with all of this. I don't know what we can do about it. Like I said, if we go in there with guns blazing, it's an act of war, so... Um, the rebels are the ones who apparently shot it down using Russian technology so that it has just made a mess because we can't get in there to get a proper investigation going. Most of the bodies are, uh, you know, being taken away by the rebels. Most of the evidence is being taken away by so-called rebels. Stand by on this one, because it's going. This is not going away anytime soon. As a matter of fact, Mars. Thanks for listening.